everyone, I hope that you're all doing great. I'm back today with a makeup first impression slash try on slash haul because I picked up a few goodies from Charlotte Tilbury when I was in London. I have a few new releases from L'Oreal. I have a couple of products that I bought ages ago and never tried. So I'm gonna try everything onto my face today and show you how I ended up with this makeup look. So I'm gonna get started. I just tied my hair up in a ponytail. It doesn't look very flattering, but it's just the best to apply makeup. I'm gonna start with the first thing, which is one of the item that I get the most excited about. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and it's the Magic Foundation. I've been wanting this foundation for ages, absolutely ages, because everyone on YouTube is raving about it and I was on the market for a new foundation because I have the Maybelline um, Superstay 24 hours at the moment that I really like but my all-time favorite foundation has to be the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk but before I get a brand new bottle of that, because mine just ran out, I just wanted to try something new, so I got the Magic Foundation. So I got matched in the store to the shade number 3, which is fair, and this is what the bottle looks like. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna apply that on my damp beauty blender. I did a video not a, not a long time ago, probably three weeks, about all my tips to use a beauty blender. So if you want to watch that, you can clip up here, click up here sorry and you can watch the video i share all my tips for um becoming a master with the beauty blender and in this video i mentioned that i always apply my foundation directly onto the beauty blender so i have nothing on my skin except from my face cream so we're gonna see how this goes so i'm just gonna do like i usually do with my foundation so far let me get the mirror a bit closer so far i would say that the match it's pretty good for me because the um, salesperson was pretty torn between two shades but the other one was really really white on me and I didn't really like that because it was like very visible and I wanted something that would match my skin perfectly. It has a beautiful coverage from what I can see. You can see the difference between my forehead and my cheeks. That's just magic as she says. So I'm gonna apply a little bit on my forehead. What I tend to do with foundation is just apply a little bit and then come back for a second coat if I feel like I need more coverage. But this coverage is so insane. It's really good. It's like very covering, but it still looks natural. I think it's all blended in. Just I use the tiniest amount of product and the difference is just massive. So happy with that. Wow, that is an incredible foundation. You know what, I was about to put some powder on and then I decided that I really don't need powder. So I'm gonna skip that. I just applied my usual concealer and my eye base, which is the Laura Mercier Eye Basics in the shade Flax all over my lid and I blended that with a Real Techniques brush. So we're gonna move on to the next thing that I'm really, really excited about. This is the Film Star Bronze and Glow, also from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is a product that I've had on my wish list for a long, long time. The packaging is absolutely insane. And what this basically is, is kind of a contour kit. It has this beautiful bronzer shade and a highlighter with that. So I'm gonna apply that and see how we get on with that. I'm gonna use my all-time favorite brush to do some kind of contouring work. This is the Sigma Tipper Highlighter F35. So I'm gonna start with the sculpt shade and apply that underneath my cheekbones. It's less pigmented than what I expected. I got the shade, is it light? I think so. Fair medium, because obviously I'm pretty, I have pretty light skin. But this looks way more natural than what I expected. I was pretty scared of the sculpt shade because usually those can be way too orange or way too um, dark for me, basically. But this one seems to be very, very good. I'm gonna apply a little bit on my nose as well. I always do that. No matter if I'm applying makeup to film a video or if I'm just running to the grocery store, 
that's the one thing that I always do. It makes such a huge difference in my opinion. So I think that looks good. I'm gonna move on to the highlight shade using the same brush. This is just my favorite brush to do all those kind of things. Oh, this is very beautiful. I don't know if you can see it because it's always a bit tricky to get highlight to show on camera. But this is, I would say it's a little bit golden, which is lovely where you have a bit of a tan, but even during winter, I feel like this looks very, very nice. I think we're all done with that. I'm gonna move on to blush. And I have a new blush from a brand that I've never tried before, which is Jane Iredale. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I have no idea what is the blush name. It doesn't have a name on the compact, but it basically looks like this. I think this is a ref refill, so I'll see if I can get the product out to see the name and I'll put that in the description box. I'm gonna use my favorite blush brush. This is a very, very old CK uh, makeup brush that I got when I went to Hong Kong and that was way back in 2008. This brush is eight years old and it's still my favorite. So I'm gonna swirl all the colors together. Ooh, that's really pigmented. So I'm gonna tap it off and just apply it on my, the apple of my cheeks. That is very pigmented and very shimmery as well. I'm not really that into shimmery blushes, but we're just gonna roll with it. I feel like I applied way too much over here. So I'm gonna take a clean brush. That's a MAC 187 and just, oh my God, let's start with that brush. And I'm just gonna blend that in with the West. Hopefully I won't end up looking like a clone, but I feel like this blush is good because it's very pigmented, but it's shimmery, which I'm not that into. I would rather apply a matte blush and go back with a highlighter on top. But that's all right, let's move on to eyes. And I have a new palette from L'Oreal. This is La Palette Gold. This is a beautiful palette. I actually just got it the other day. It has a ton of colors, which are very, very different. To be honest with you, I don't think I'll be trying out the yellow or the green one, but that part over here is totally up my street. So I'm gonna apply uh, that with, do I have a clean brush? I don't have any clean brushes. Oh no, I do. Wait. I'm gonna use a blending brush. I just love to apply my shadow all over my lids with a blending brush at the moment. So this is the Sigma Tapered Blending E40. 40. 40, 40. So I think I'm gonna go with that pink shade over here, the third one, all over my lids. Now let's see. That is a beautiful shade. I'm sorry, I have to move the mirror closer because I'm basically blind at the moment. My view is getting so, so bad. I'm actually thinking about going to the doctor to see if I can get LASIK because it's just, not possible like that. It's just, I can't see anything. <laughs> so, so far so good. This is the kind of shade that I really like because it's close to my natural eyelid colors, but it still has a bit of shimmer, a bit of glitter. No, not glitter, it's just shimmer. Um, I'm just getting too far with that. But I really like it because it adds a little bit of something, but it still looks very natural. And then I'm going to take my pencil. Let, let me move my brushes. Closer. So I'm gonna use my pencil brush. This is Sigma Pencil E30, that's the E30. And I'm gonna use the lightest shade, so the one over here, and apply that in the inner corners of my eyes. That is a very beautiful shade. These are surprisingly well pigmented, but because they are in the same range of color, they blend together very nicely. And then I'm gonna go over the top with this little guy, which is just so beautiful. This is Le Petit Trésor from Lancôme in the shade 36 Rose Satin. This is just the cutest thing ever. And for that, I'm gonna use a flat brush. I'm gonna go with, which one am I doing? I'm gonna go with that one. That's just a very cheap brush that I got ages ago in a makeup kit, but this is just so good. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that and 
put that in the center of my eyes. That is beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. It's very shimmery. It's a little bit pearly white almost. But it looks so good. Love that. That is really, really beautiful. And I'm just going to go back with my blending brush to blend everything together. I don't think that I'll be applying a color in my crease just because I don't think I need it. So we're gonna move on to eyeliner, shall we? So you probably know that when it comes to eyeliner, I only swear by the Stila waterproof one, but I got the Super Cat eyeliner from Soap and Glory recently, and I didn't try it yet. So it's a lot thicker than the Stila one, so we'll see how I get on with that. So I always start with the little flick, I'm not trying to go too, Too thick with that, just like that. I'm gonna draw my line. So on first impressions, it's not as black as the steel one. The um, felt tip is very stiff, which I'm not used to because the steel one is kind of flexible. And I'm not that talented with this one. Let me see if I can do something with it. I feel like it's pretty hard to be really precise with this. Yeah, that's messy. That's just messy. Okay, so basically this is the kind of eyeliner that I really don't like because it's so thick that you end up having a very thick eyeliner just because there's no way you can be precise with that one. So that's gonna be a miss for me. Okay, I really, really don't like this eyeliner. I would say that this would be good if you like very thick eyeliner. But I'm actually going to reach for my one and go over the top just trying to make something out of that because that's just a disaster. So that is a bit better but it's still not what I like. I'm gonna move on to mascara and I have a new one from L'Oreal. This is the Volume Million Lashes in Fatal. This is in black as well. That's a new formula but I really like the Volume Million Lashes. So I'm gonna start by curling my lashes off camera because this is just the worst thing to watch on the screen. So I'll be back in just 30 seconds. So here we are, I'm gonna start with my right eye, just because that's why I do. This one has one of those plasticky brushes, bristles, sorry, that I really like. So it grabs onto every single one of my lashes and it really defines them, which I like. So far, so good with this one. I really like the effect that it gives Definitely grabs every single one of your lashes. It's not clumpy at all and it's very black, which I like. So this is definitely more volumizing than lengthening, but I really like it. I think it's a good everyday mascara. I always go with just one coat of mascara because that's how I roll. I'm gonna move on to eyebrows with a product that I got in Vegas and that I still haven't tried. This is the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Taupe. So it's one of those dual-ended products that I really like for my work. So I'm gonna start with the spoolie and just brush everything like that. And then I'm going to move on to the other side. It looks a lot like the Hourglass um, Algebra Sculpting Pencil, which is my favorite. So we're gonna see how this compares. So the shade match is perfect, which is a win in itself because Finding the right color for your brows when you're blonde or redhead is just a nightmare. So, really like it so far. It's a bit waxy, just like the hourglass one. I think they're pretty much the same price. So, the price isn't going to be a huge factor in this. My brows are all over the place at the moment. That's not even fun anymore. So, I'm gonna brush that out. So, it gets a little bit of product on top of your brows when you brush it up. That's why you can just go again over it with the spoolie and it's just fine. So here we go, I think that's pretty good, although my brows are not in tip-top shape at the moment, but I think that's a very good eyebrow product. I'm curious to see how it holds on during the day, but the color match is perfect, it is very easy to apply and it does the job, it looks very natural, which you know is what I love, so. I think we're gonna go to the last product, which is a lipstick. 
This is the Matte Revolution lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury again. And this is in the shade Lost Cherry. I'm very curious about these because I've heard so many things about the formula. I'm so, so curious. So we're gonna go with it straight onto the lips. I just have a tiny bit of lip balm left, but nothing else. So straight from the bullet. Okay, this is definitely the kind of lipstick that requires a lip brush because my lips are looking awful right now. So this is definitely the kind of lipstick that calls for a lip brush. So I'm gonna go over the top with that just because I made a nightmare with my first application. And in case you're wondering, I'm using the Sigma Lip Brush L05 brush, which is a retractable brush, which is just the best for lipstick. And I think we're good. So I like the color. It's a bit out there, but it's really beautiful. The finish isn't 100% matte as I thought it would be, which is a good surprise because I feel like really, really matte lips are a pretty statement to wear on a daily basis. But this is a color that I would wear on a daily basis, honestly, with just a little bit less eyeliner, um, just my usual very thin uh, eyeliner. I think this color is good. You need a lip brush to apply it, in my opinion, which is not the most practical to apply on a daily basis, but I'm actually going to Paris next week and I can see myself wearing that in the French city, so... So that is the final result. I'm really pleased with nearly everything. I love the foundation. I think it has a beautiful finish, it has a lot of coverage, but it still looks natural, so that's probably my favorite product. Really like the eyeshadow palette as well. It was a good surprise. The eyebrow product is just as good as my favorite one, so we'll see which one I'll repurchase. So disappointed with the eyeliner. I really don't like it at all. And I will see and report back on the lipstick because I'm curious to see how it will work. So I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, do not hesitate to subscribe and to click on like because with the new YouTube algorithm, I am just want to make sure that you still enjoy my content. And if you have any video requests, leave that in the comments down below. I know that a lot of you want to see a planner update. I'm working on that, but to be honest with you, I'm not using a paper planner at the moment. I only use my iCal, so maybe I can do a video on that, but I'm trying to go back into a paper planner for 2017. So hopefully I'll be back with that anytime soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.